Hello? I hope that's the mailman. Oh, Ooh, that's the mailman. Okay. I just got scared. <laughs> Y'all's about to see me run. Hi, beauties and girls. We are back with another video, and you know what time it is. It is time for October favorites or favorites. I'm excited about the holidays. That's the first favorites. But before we get into this, if you are new, welcome and Hope you guys subscribe. You're gonna have fun on the channel. I hope you are part of the MQ family over here. We have fun down in the comments. I'll see you guys. Y'all know that this is a giveaway as always. So don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you guys are loving in October and what you're loving in November because it's already November. I'm filming this in November. Y'all know how we roll. So let me know what your favorite like thing about the holidays let me know about that yes and before you leave click the subscribe button and that bell is gonna let you know that i post videos every monday wednesday and friday and you'll get that notification it's at 6 p.m i do my upload but lately i'm doing bonus videos so check out those as well but without further ado let's get straight into october favorites i hated this product <laughs> Yes, I hated this product, but now I love it because I know how to use it and that's why First impressions are you know, like just trying the product and moving on I need time especially with hair and skin. I need time Okay, if it don't Make my hair fall out which y'all be able to tell unless I'm wigging it out Which I do have some wigs coming up y'all So stay tuned for that. I'm so excited and nervous at the same time, but this is the Camille Rose Curly Moisture Butter. It is in my 12 pans of Christmas, but I finally know how to use this. Yes, I love to moisturize my edges because this is so moisturizing. Like you can actually see the oils in here. This is so good though. It is not like the Almond Jai Twist Butter. That is an OG for me, but I am so glad that I know how to use this now. I love to moisturize my hair. It's going to be great for the winter because it's going to really prolong the moisture in my hair rather than drying it out it is glycerin free and that's the reason why i love it i was going to declutter the other one and i still may give that one away because that one's unwrapped i'll give that to somebody i just want to love on somebody okay but that'll be in a giveaway but we're not gonna talk about that but i absolutely love this it's in my 12 pans i highly recommend when you try your product to go ahead and try it the way that is directed but then try other ways because those ways may work for you better than the way that the directions say i do use it to moisturize like i said my edges and it's actually a great moisture and seal product if you just want a one-stop shop this would be a great uh, product to moisturize if you have thick hair too. It's like the Curl Enhancer Smoothie, but glycerin free. How about that? Great analogy, Melissa. Yes. So I love this. This is the Smoothie Star Deep Moisture Body Milk. It is so good. It smells so good. It has almond, cocoa, yogurt, oat, and honey. And it has that irresistible oats and honey brown sugar scent. That's what it says on here and it's so true. It's silky, it's luxurious, and this is great all over the ball day. And um, I love it just like it's just a great moisturizer and it has a nice a light scent. So if you were going to put on your perfume, it's not going to overpower the perfume, but at the same time, you're going to smell nice and fresh and sweet out of the shower. Yes, so love this. Y'all, I've been loving my Lorac Pro. I'm a little bit going to go everywhere here and there. So you just, if you are a hair lover, if you're makeup skincare, you just, I can't put timestamps in the video because usually I do hair, skin, makeup, and those are like kind of like those, but this month we going all over the place. My Lorac Pro, I have been loving. I use this today. Um, I use taupe and sable. Those are the two colors that I'm using the most out of the mattes and espresso. I figured out how to use my black and um, in this eyeshadow palette by setting my eyelid and y'all using it to fill in my hairline. Yes, thank you, Jaclyn Hill. You fill in your high. Uh, 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 
we can do it too. Okay, tan girls, women of color, WOCs can do it too. And my edges, y'all know, have been jacked up because of my baby. Yes, I love my baby, but he did, uh, he paid a toll on my body, okay? And I'm trying to get my edges back. But in the meantime, I can fill them in. And I go in with a little espresso in black. And yes, that is how I'm going to use this black. I'm going to set my eyes and I'm going to use, I actually use this stippling brush. And I go in and just, maybe I can do it today. <laughs> Show y'all kind of like what I do. And I'm just going to go. Stippling brush allows you to like naturally so it doesn't look crazy on the hairline. But I can go right here and just fill it in. And you want to do this before you put it in your edge control, girls. Yes. But really fill in. I can just fill it in and it make it look natural. And then I will go in with my hair gel. I have not put it on yet. But using this e.l.f. stippling brush with my espresso in black has worked out beautifully. But y'all can see dips in this. I do have uh, monthly updates. I am panning this Lorac Pro for 2017 and 18. And hopefully I can throw in. I do have one month, one palette. So I don't get tired of that. But the goal is to pan every single one. I said finish, but I think I was a little bit too amb ambitious. Let's just work on panning each each eyeshadow how about that okay and I have been loving two palettes two other palettes and an eyeshadow I'm gonna tell you my yes please palette these are so good I was thinking about getting the the Natasha Denona eyeshadows I'm not gonna get the one that I was gonna get I was gonna get the sunset palette I don't need it I can get another one I these shadows are good enough for me not saying that I have not tried I swatched the quality but I need to use it on the eyes. I know that it's super pigmented. I'm not going to even hate because I love different eyeshadows. I love ABH. They're way a lot more expensive than these. But I love the palettes and I love the singles. Um, I have expensive. I'll have Makeup Forever. I have expensive eyeshadows. And I have ones that like Makeup Geek and these. And I like both. So I can have my cake and eat it too when it comes to my eyeshadows okay so that that one I love and I have been loving the My Little Pony this one you probably have seen a review if not I'm gonna link it over here if so I'm gonna link it over here if not that's coming okay but spoiler alert I love this I feel like this is so underrated for my generation, My Little Pony was a jam. I had a My Little Pony bike, y'all. But these are so beautiful. As you can tell, they have some warm tones. I could have even worn it today using these colors. This one, this one, these two, these shades here. But they also have some cool tone and some deep tones. I feel like that this is a wearable pop of color. Don't be fooled by it being My Little Pony. If it had a different label on here, y'all know y'all would love these colors. But uh yes i feel like that this is people are gonna love if you are a lover of my little pony or right now it doesn't matter if you're a millennial okay you're gonna love these colors i feel like they're smooth there's some metallics i have been using this purple color and y'all have been asking what have you had on your eyes the last couple of videos i have been using this palette and i love it i want to do something with this teal this is screaming frozen to me let it go yeah this is like so holiday appropriate to me especially if you want to do a winter wonderland yes let's just move on because i'm loving that and uh, let's talk about one more sh one eyeshadow that this came from this ipsy collab with color pop this is now this is one of their regular shades so you can pick this up this is in paper tiger i use this today it's like that pukey you know jacqueline hill was talking about a pukey color this is so beautiful you can take this on the lid you can use this as a transition shade women of color this is an amazing 
shade for you and I feel like this is a shade that even pale skin can use pale skin light skin beige medium tan I gotta go through all of them now deep deep dark okay chocolate vanilla toffee yes all of those paper tiger is the bomb I use it as a transition shade but I feel like I want to kind of like incorporate and almost make a look around this I feel like it is a beautiful shade and I just want to mention that in my favorites y'all know I have been loving my NARS weightless luminous but I got a new combo for y'all wait for it I love now this is pricey y'all okay <laughs> I love my Giorgio Armani and my NARS Weightless Luminous. I have it on today and it's flawless. You have to have, I feel like every woman should have a flawless foundation. It does not have to be as expensive as this because matte, matte, matte and poreless, I need to slow down, okay? I'm way a little bit too, more, too excited. The Weightless, no, the Matte and Poreless by Maybelline is a great foundation if you want to have flawless skin but Andrea Renee my girl here on YouTube yes she was like girl you need to do some cocktails just don't wear one try mixing it in so this one is a luminous this both of these are luminous but this one is more of a serum -y type of loose and this one is creamy and I feel like it made like a flawless satin finish and really if I could choose any finish I would probably choose a satin because it's not too matte and it's not too luminous and I can build on the luminous. I feel like satin finish is great for whether you are oily or you're dry but this combo I have this in shade number nine and I have this in Syracuse. I can I have this it's to me a little a tad bit dark especially since I'm going into the winter months but I can always mix this with a light shade and y'all I'm getting through my foundation <laughs> okay let's talk about skincare I have been loving y'all and you can probably see that I have been using this this is L'Occitane but this is from their Lotion Divine collection and I have been loving this It's very very watery but it's super hydrating and it actually kind of has a tackiness to it and it I use it kind of like as a serum so I use this and then I will use the L'Occitane the face cream this is amazing you guys I love this I'm gonna come with a full review because I have the whole entire collection but as with skincare I like to add on without just like attacking my face with new products I like to kind of like gradually introduce my skin to products and that just works well for me I feel like I don't get as I don't get breakouts for that reason so yeah oh I have a nail polish I didn't have that many favorites this month but I do want to show you guys KO polish and snickerdoodle will forever be like my favorite neutral I just have been loving this and I've been wearing it non-stop don't know why and pre-cleanse by Dermalogica this is so amazing I love this it makes a milky finish after it moves uh, moves away the makeup but don't put this don't get this in your eye you gonna hurt but this is so good so I have my giveaway you guys ipsy glam bag it's a mystery bag don't forget to enter down below thanks so much for watching please subscribe and I'll see beautiful you in the next video bye lovies <laughs>